Hey, Barbara Larry with Cycling Strong. We're here with Swift Wick Socks. Now, you guys don't know this, but I've tried their socks in several occasions because Envy Composite uses their socks, which is the socks I have on today. Also, UCI, one of the race teams, uses their socks, and I have a pair of their socks because I was able to tour with them, do some stuff on their bus that you all know about. So, I've tried their socks a lot, and there's a lot of things I like about them, but Grant's here with us, and he's going to educate us on why these socks are so amazing. So Grant, start through some stuff, talk about your socks a little bit, then I'm going to add to the things that I like about it, like compression in all the different stuff that they have, and why compression is super important for all athletes, be it a runner or a cyclist. Go ahead. All right, well, thanks for the opportunity. I'm Grant with Swiftwick Socks. We make the best socks on the planet, regardless of regardless of where you look this is the best sock ever produced why is that this sock does does several things that are important to performance the sock also does several things that are important to the environment for example our socks all, all feature compression there's a lot of noise surrounding compression the important thing to note about compression is how we define it so for us compression is important really in this order a second skin fit what does that mean that means this sock will not move around on your foot it's going to match the contours of your feet. Some of that's the design of the high needle count sock. Some of that's the fact that this is a linked toe. So it's not sewn, it's not stitched, it's actually knit together. So it takes varying foot shapes more effectively. The thing about compression in, that, in this order now, in order of importance, one, the second skin fit, it's not going to slip around. This sock will not bunch up in your shoe, you won't get a blister from the sock. Now you could get a blister through the sock, but that's a different conversation. Sure. The next thing about compression from a performance standpoint is reducing muscle vibration. Yep. Muscle vibration equals fatigue, whether it's mechanical vibration or vibration through impact, that means fatigue. By offering support, managed compression, or support that's even and, and um, consistent over time, you're going to reduce fatigue by reducing that muscle vibration. The next thing about compression is that second skin fit actually helps inhibit bacteria. Tighter fitting garments help reduce the chance for your socks to get snow. Um, and finally, um, you can talk a little bit about blood flow. It's, it's sort of an aside. But from a user standpoint, this thing's going to fit like a second skin. Now the next thing about Swift Wick, in the name, Wick. Our socks all wick moisture. That means our socks are all designed to move moisture away from the skin. The interesting thing about wicking moisture is you can virtually get any fiber on the planet, any fabric on the planet to wick moisture if you beat it into submission with the right batch of chemicals. The fibers that we choose to wick moisture with do it because they were born to do it in a sense. Whether it be this sock that features nylon and olefin or one of our merino wool socks, they wick mechanically, not human. So, in the case of, of this sock, the synthetic, this olefin is a hollow fiber that wicks on the interior and the exterior of the fiber. And it does it regardless of circumstances. It doesn't care about fabric softeners. It just does it every time you put it on. Um, the other compelling thing about this particular fiber is it's very hydrophobic, meaning it doesn't want to stay wet. When these come out of your spin cycle of your washing machine, particularly your front load, it's virtually dry. You can throw it in the dryer if you want, but it's pretty much dry. So that means I had a conversation with a gentleman that rode his bike 750 miles to Interbike this year from California to Oakland, I think. And he said he went through a situation where he got rained on and then through some really heavy humidity. And he said what was so great for him with our socks is by the time he, and this isn't a sponsored app, yeah, this sure. is the guy that found our socks. He said by the time he got to Vegas, his feet were dry again. So that's a product of the way these socks are designed. You know, the other compelling thing about Swiftwick is some of the decisions we make about construction. This is a 200 needle sock. Most socks on the planet are 88 to 108 needles. So think of it as thread count, just like thread count in sheets. Um, it's a denser, tighter weave. It supports that compression. It supports a longer lifespan for the garment. It also supports the fact that they're not going to stretch out and get limp over wearing. Um, as I mentioned, our fibers are sourced domestically in the US. Our fibers are also engineered. The color goes into this fiber when we build the fiber. What's that mean? That means we eliminate the need to have to dye the fiber post production. Well, it takes up to 15 gallons of water to traditionally dye a fiber. 
what happens with that wastewater is also impactful. So by avoiding that step altogether, we have a better product, a more environmentally aware product. The other great thing about sourcing our components domestically behind having a smaller carbon footprint is we can see the very beginning of the supply chain. So that means we can make better decisions about how we build the socks we build. You know, and finally, in terms of talking about uh, the performance of the product from both a user standpoint and from an environmental standpoint, these things don't wear out. And if they do, call me, I'll probably replace it. Um, the life of the garment is exceedingly long because of the way we build them and the fiber selection. And that means you don't have to buy a pair every single year. Um, it also means that the total cost of ownership for this, what looks to be a relatively expensive product, is actually quite low. In fact, I'd argue it's lower than that three pack of, of socks you might find in a big box store. It's going to last longer, it's going to work better, you're going to have a more enjoyable experience as a user. Whether you're on the bike or just walking around the, the hall here, or day to day, than you would with one of those other socks. Okay, awesome. So that gives you a bunch of information about the socks. So we're going to do another little segment right here in just a second, so stay tuned and keep out there and keep cycling strong.